Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Hi. It's Mr. X live in the studio. This is only Mr. X's second time in the studio. The last one was what, five years ago? Five years. Five years ago, time flies, but time is a cruel mistress. I've certainly aged over the period. You, my friend, your pixels look as fresh as they ever did. How do you do it? Cream. Cream. Fair enough. Don't worry, I will conceal his identity, and don't worry, I will also modulate your voice so people can't recognise you. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. Why are we here, Mr X? We are here because of charity. He and I have entered the latest edition of the Shitbox Rally, a 3,400 kilometre epic journey across some of Australia's roughest roads, all in the name of raising funds for the Cancer Council. There aren't too many better causes than that one. Now we've both got personal sponsors who donated watches that we are auctioning off. We are gonna take their watches on our travels with us. My sponsor is G-Shock Australia, so I'm gonna take a watch roll full of G-Shocks. Mr X's is... Fears of Bristol. Fears of Bristol in the UK, so he's gonna take a watch roll full of Fears watches. Not difficult for him, by the way. How many Fears watches do you own? Probably more than 10. You probably own as many Fears watches as I own Casio watches. No. Yeah, no, okay, maybe not, maybe not. Close, but no cigar. All right, let's flip the camera and get into these watch rolls. Hey, I was doing that, that's my job. Stop it. This is a bit weird. It's the same map, but whose are these hairy fingers? They are not mine, they are Mr X's. All right, so what's in the watch roll style? You watch all of my videos, don't you? Yes, all of them. Well, well including said. Including last week's. Including last the, week's. The green watch. The green, the green watch, there you are. You watched it in some detail, didn't you? All right, what's in the watch roll? Three in the roll, one on the wrist. We start with the one on the wrist, and the one on the wrist is that. That is a Fears Archival 1930, if I'm not mistaken. It is, with the 1930s ETA 717 movement. Ooh. So this one is a little bit special. This is a limited edition reproduction of a Fears watch from the 1930s. That Fears watch from the 1930s. So as you can see, it is a faithful reproduction using a movement from the 1930s. And you said they only made a hundred or so of these, one for each year that they've been in production? Yes, but not the years they weren't in production. That's right, so they were closed from the 70s until the 2000s. Correct. So they must have made about 100 of these. Very nice indeed. And this one is first out of the roll because this is the watch, or a version of this, is the one that we are raffling off for Cancer Council. Check yesterday's video. I will leave a link to it in the top corner of the screen. If you are a fierce collector, then that is one watch you need in your collection because it's a unique one. It's not actually available. Well, Mr X, this is a lovely looking piece. Let's pop it on your wrist and see what it looks like in its natural habitat. And there it is, looking fantastic. Give us a wrist roll, please. Yeah, looks good. How wide is that? What is the diameter dimension? 22 millimetres. 22 millimetres. Conclusive proof, ladies and gentlemen, that real men wear small watches. Real men don't shave their arms. <gasps> Low blow. Next up, a bit of a unicorn, this one. A Fears Alliance made in collaboration with Christopher Ward. Tell me about this one. Well, it's got the Christopher Ward jumping our movement in. Right. And there was only 50 of them produced. Okay. And they sold out in two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, that is very impressive. Christopher Ward doing some really interesting things and good to see two small, independent British watch manufacturers working together. Hence the name of this one, Alliance. So you are one of 50 lucky punters to get your hands on one of these. Always lucky. Very unusual. Jumping our movement. So that jumps and that's your minute hand. It is. Yeah, no second hand. Very nice. Very nice. I like that one. All right, watch number three. We have had a limited edition of 100-ish, a limited edition of 50. How many of these were made? Five. Five and it's a Fears on a NATO strap, which is kind of like wearing Doc Martens underneath your dinner jacket. Looks good though. Looks very nice. What model is it? It's the Brunswick brand. Brunswick brand. Give us a wrist roll, please. Yeah, that's nice. Color matched perfectly on that NATO. Was that the one that was supplied with it? It was, yes. Yep. I think it will go very nicely in the desert. Yes, I think that's your kind of in incognito watch. You get a bit of red earth on it. And what movement is in the back of that? It's in the ETA 7001. 7001 with that little small second there. Very, very pretty. In fact, it looks a lot like watch number four. Yes, indeed, watch number four looks a lot like number three, but it looks like it's made of a different material. I'm guessing this is a Brunswick. 
It is a Brunswick. But it's not made of steel, is it? No. What is it made of? Platinum. And it's missing the sub-seconds. Platinum Special. with no small second. Is this a unique bespoke piece just for you? It is, yes. It is a unique bespoke piece. I'm not gonna ask how much it costs because that is vulgar, but I reckon it costs, oh, on a Marine National, Erica's original, you like those as well, don't you? I do, they're very comfy. They are very comfortable. Again, a bit of a juxtaposition, but it somehow works. It just somehow works. You're a revolutionary here, Mr. X. I'm not gonna ask how much it costs, but I suspect it's worth more than my entire watch collection. Well, if you would like to own a unique bespoke fears, check the video in the top right corner of the screen and bid generously. Well, Mr. X and I have been good friends for five years, but we clearly have different taste in watches. I'm taking four G-Shocks with me, three in the roll, one on the wrist, and it is my favorite on wrist. This is my GWB 5600. This is my guy. I wear this watch perhaps more than anything else in my collection, certainly in my top three. I picked it up half price last year and I just love it. Classic square shape, plus it has Bluetooth, solar, the latest module, and I can have a European day-date combination. It's adjustable, which not all of them are. So I've got the date of the month followed by the month of the year. Can't really be a square G, which is why I'm taking two including this GWB 5600. Same model derivation, same movement, not quite the same though. This is one of their 90s special editions with the kind of classic 90s purple and teal blue color scheme. It's also on a slightly different strap. This one is broader. It's got that teal underside. It's a little bit more rigid though. Wears slightly differently from the other one. In fact, why don't I show you? There we go, I love this square shape, I love this case profile. 40th anniversary of the original Square Gs this year. You probably saw the 40th anniversary sticker on the side of our ship box. But yeah, this one is a little bit different, a little bit stiffer and a little bit broader than I'm used to. So two squares then, followed by two octagons. Two GA 2100s are coming with me as well including this, the original one that I bought three and a bit years ago when it came out, when they were so hot that you couldn't actually buy them and they were trading for a premium used. No wonder, great watch, thinnest G-Shock ever released at the time. Still, I believe the thinnest G-Shock apart from the smaller version of the same watch. This one, you can actually tell the time though because the hands are white and the indices are white and it wears remarkably well for a big watch. As you can see, don't be frightened of these even if you have slightly smaller wrists, plus it weighs about 50 grams. They really don't wear an awful lot. They are super comfortable watches. I like to wear a light watch when driving, so I am gonna be very comfortable with my selection of four Gs. The last of which is my latest pickup, the GAB 2100 B for Bluetooth. This one is Tough Solar as well. So that's three Tough Solars and one battery powered from the selection of four that I'm taking. I love this one. I love that bright yellow color. You're never too old to wear a bright yellow watch. That's my argument and I am sticking to it. I will admit though, this one is new, it is shiny and it is bright yellow. So if the car breaks down and I am doing some mechanic-y type stuff, I will probably swap onto one of the other ones to try and keep this one box fresh for a little while longer. There we are, a fine selection of watches. If I was taking on the Australian Outback, I wouldn't want anything other than these eight watches to come with me. Would you, Mr. X? No. Definitely not. Will we be swapping, by the way? Any chance I can have a borrow of your Brunswick Brown, perhaps, for a day or two? As long as I can borrow the yellow one. Oh, you definitely can borrow the yellow one. I tell you what, I won't be borrowing the platinum one. I am too frightened of that. I'm just worried that it'll fall off the table as it sits, actually. But yes, thank you very much once again to Casio G-Shock Australia. Thank you once again to Fears for their sponsorship. And thank all of you for watching.